when you talked about the the fact that the instruction or the assignment mm. that um, the Godhead yes. took upon at the beginning yes. to make man in their image and after the likeness that is still in force, is still in process. That that command is still because that understanding that um, that's that's still what we are working towards. Mm. I, it's for me it wasn't that clear mm -hmm. but when you said that and then explain further that when he, God breathed into Adam it was a living soul mm -hmm. you know that living that mm -hmm. the soul was alive mm -hmm. you know the soul that we talk about you know restoring now mm -hmm. what God actually did was a living soul mm -hmm. and so with the fall mm -hmm. gradually you know this soul began to die with sin, mm -hmm. you know, with evil on the earth. Mm -hmm. And in my heart, I linked it to, you know, the years mm -hmm. of Adam, the decrease in the years. So the death of the soul mm -hmm. has also impacted on the body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that Jesus now came mm -hmm. to restore that soul. So we are walking, like walking back again mm -hmm. towards mm -hmm. the living soul and to the beyond. Father. Yes, yes, and beyond. beyond because he's, he's a life giving spirit. Mm. Yes, sir. So we're going above ah. the dimension of the living soul. So, the, the Corinthians said that the first man is earthly, mm. which is the first Adam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. the second man, or the last Adam, mm -hmm. is the Lord from heaven, heaven. who is a life giving spirit. You see? So, go ahead. <laughs> so, that scripture that the salvation of our soul mm -hmm. is the end of our faith right. just popped i say yes I mean, I mean, so mm -hmm. until this soul is it's restored it. fully mm -hmm. my faith hasn't ended though no. <laughs> keep journey from one level of faith to another oh my level. god so oh faith. my god right. when the soul and the spirit will become one and the, the soul can do nothing mm. except what mm. the spirit is saying mm. do. And definitely the mm. body, That's right. the body, the That's whole right. just come together. That's it was right. so, ex it was so wonderful. And, wow. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's why I told you, I'm still learning. Everybody, I'm still everybody, learning. All of us are still learning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> still <laughs> learning. <laughs> I said, this soul, you have to be restored fully. Yes, 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 yes. You have to be. Yes, yes. You have to be. You know, the, the, the scripture in Romans 8 that says, but you are not in the flesh, but you are in the spirit. Um, because the spirit of God dwells in you. And it goes on to talk about that we are debtors. You know, that was exciting, but not to the flesh. You know, so, and, uh, uh, I started speaking so I am a debtor I'm actually indebted mm. but I'm not indebted to the flesh mm. as I read through those scriptures mm. I began to see that the struggle mm. and the the outward struggle mm. to walk according to the spirit mm. doesn't need to be there mm. as we take such words mm. and begin to speak and pray in the spirit mm. over your life mm. you you have like a release because you're coming into knowing who you are mm. that you're not you're not in the flesh because mm. the one that saved you mm. he is spirits mm. therefore you yourself are spirits mm. it's something we know in the head mm. but we need to know it That's in right. the heart right. and so meditating on it mm. speaking it mm. and praying over it mm. began to you know just mm. open up in my heart mm. almost like screaming at I'm really not in the flesh mm. I'm in the spirit mm. why because the Spirit of God mm. dwells on the inside of me mm. and so I'm not a, I'm not I'm to be led by the Spirit of God oh, yeah. I'm not to walk according to the flesh right. flesh I'm not indebted to you I owe you nothing mm. the one who gave birth to me is spirit mm. and therefore I am spirit Ooh. I don't owe you anything i don't owe you obedience i don't mm. owe you any wow. likeness yeah. i don't owe you any love i don't owe you to follow you in mm. anything that you say mm. because i am not in the flesh mm. i'm in the spirits 
the one who is inside of me mm. is spirit. Mm. So he's the one that I'm indebted to. And say, Holy Spirit, I'm indebted to you mm. because Jesus is the one that died for me. Mm. And it's the spirit that mm. dwells on the inside of me. Mm. So I am indebted to him. Mm. I'm a debtor. I accept I am a debtor mm. because that's what the scriptures say, mm. that we are debtors. Mm. But I'm not a debtor to the flesh. Yes. I know who I am indebted to. Awesome. So I, as long as I know, I accept that I'm indebted. You know, sometimes when you see debtor, you, nobody wants to accept <laughs> that I'm a debtor. But reading the scripture, I said I'm a debtor. Mm. But today I know who I owe mm. something. Mm. I'm indebted to, to him mm. alone, mm. to his spirit, mm. to obedience mm. to him, mm. to, to his ways to his thoughts, to his will, to his counsel. You know, it brought such a release. I don't have to, you know, grace. Grace is available, really. Grace is available. I don't have to walk according to the rules of the law. But that understanding alone is like my spirit is alive to the will of God. So I, is, those that are led by the spirit of God are the sons of God. You know, it's also, that's, that's Romans, it also speaks of adoption. Definitely. There's so much, so much, so it much. Is the, the scripture, <laughs> this scripture for me is just beautiful. Hallelujah. It said, if Christ be in you, yes. you know, your, but the body is dead because of sin, mm. but the spirit mm. is that life. Mm. You know, just my body is dead. Mm. So you can't even, you shouldn't even be able to move me. You shouldn't even be able to speak to me and I will respond. Because my spirit is alive because of righteousness. You shouldn't be, I shouldn't, I shouldn't hear you. I shouldn't listen to you because my body is, is dead because of, you know, you know, is exciting, is, is liberating, is, it's like, wow, where have I been struggling with this flesh? I have no business struggling with you. I just need to be with the spirit and I'm just um, going. I'm just advancing. Why have I been wasting my time on a dead, a dead, a dead thing, really? Because I mean, that's, what the, that's what the scriptures say. I believe it. So I've received it. And therefore... If you you have to you have to manifest in my life mm. you just have to he says if I believe mm. I receive mm. and I have it mm. and therefore I have it mm. this word has become flesh Amen. it has to become flesh right. it has to become flesh so mm. that is now the flesh mm. my flesh is no more that body mm. it is the word that is now flesh mm. you know mm. so he says if you live after the flesh you shall die mm. <laughs> but if through the spirit you shall live ah, where do i where do i start where do i end it's just all about the spirit you know there's so much if i'm a child of god then i'm an heir. i'm an heir of god i'm a joint heir with christ i own i own the kingdom of my father along with him i own the inheritance with him i am one with him and you know you know how people get inheritance and there's a struggle to share. Jesus is not strong. He's asking you should come. Come, come, come and partake. Mm. Come and partake with me. Mm. He's, 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 mm. he's open. Mm. And he says, if he, if he did not spare his own son, but there's not supposed to be, really, uh, there's not supposed to be any struggle. Mm. There's not supposed to be any anxiety. Mm. I don't know why we we often fall into that <laughs> you know you know I, I my prayer is that god will even as i've even received it that you help me to stay on it That's right. so that That's right. to stay on it to stay on it grace to stay on it grace to stay on it like we're saying today so that your hands are forever lifted up you wake up in the morning and say i'm indebted to you you know I'm indebted to you. I oh, today I'm indebted to you. What do you need? What do you want of me? Because if you're indebted, it means I, I can't pay. I, when I thought about it, I said, "Does it mean what can I pay you anyway?" If I'm indebted to you, is is my life? I give you everything. There's nothing. How can I pay you back? I can only pay you back with my life. That's the debt that I owe you. Everything that concerns me belongs to you. That's the only way to pay back these debts. I give my life, I give my plans, I give my dreams. I, I just give you, how can you pay for 
to someone who died for you mm. except to give back your own life and he's not even asking you to die the way he did but mm. to die to every other thing and just leave to him mm. you know so that's um that's what is in my heart <laughs> mm -hmm.